live from Nashville, Tennessee, it's theCUBE. Covering Commvault Go 2018. Brought to you by Commvault. Welcome back to Nashville, Tennessee. This is Commvault Go, and you're watching theCUBE. I'm Stu Miniman, joined by my co-host, Keith Townsend. And we're going to get a little cloudy. Happy to welcome to the program Sabina Joseph, who's the Global Segment Director with Amazon Web Services. Welcome back to the program. Thank you very much for having us here. And also welcome to the program, first time, uh, uh, Gina James, who's the Worldwide Cloud Alliances Leader with Commvault. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. All right, so uh, we're, we're looking at the ecosystem that, that Commvaults have. Sabina, why don't you give us a little bit on, on the, the, the history and uh, what, what's going on between Amazon and Commvault? I think I'm going to have Gina kind of kick that off and then sure. we will Yeah, have I'll take that. So, we started our relationship over five years ago and it's been a strong and growing relationship since that time. We started off with S3 integration and we write natively to Amazon S3 and now our integration points have just become deeper and wider. So S3, S3IA, Glacier, Snowball, we have full support across the Amazon services and about three years ago, Amazon started the storage competency program, and Commvault is a storage competency partner. And so with that launch, we started to do more on the go-to-market side. So we started off with that integration and the technology side, and now today are expanding more on the go-to-market. And Sabina, you want to talk a little bit about that? Absolutely, thank you, Gina. Thank you for that question. So our collaboration indeed started five years ago, and Commvault has always embraced our best practices around technology and go to market. They've always focused on getting the technical integrations with our services right prior to engaging on go to market and sales initiatives. They have launched a joint practices website on their web pages, which talks about our collaboration, our solutions, and also jointly validated reference architectures. We engaged early on in the channel. In addition, when AWS is about to launch services and new features, we engage Commvault's technical team early on. And wherever possible, Commvault has always participated in our beta launches. This is actually one of the reasons why Commvault has a wide integration across Amazon S3, S3IA, Glacier, Glacier Vault Lock, and different versions of Snowball. Yeah, so Sabina, those of us that watch the industry, watching the storage segment and how AWS relates to it has been one of the most fascinating stories there. Uh, at this conference, we're really enjoying getting to talk to some of the customers. We know that Amazon's always listening very much to the customers. What can you tell us about what you're hearing from the customers? And uh, you know, how, how is that impacting the focus of, of uh, what you're doing together? Well, uh, as you know, AWS is very focused on the customer. And Commvault has always embraced this vision, making sure to launch solutions that mutually delight our customers. Every year, our technical and our executive teams meet to set the initiatives for the year, both on the business and the technical front. Uh, this is one of the reasons why like solutions such as data disaster recovery, healthcare data protection solutions, and AI ML solutions really speak to Commvault's commitment to the cloud. And we're also very open with each other on recommendations. They have given us recommendations on our services and we have done the same with Commvault. And we very much welcome these suggestions. All of this has laid a very strong foundation for our collaboration and we look forward and we will expect to see continued strong growth in the coming years. So, data, we've heard it said time and time again, the new currency, super important. Amazon, obviously a leader in cloud storage. Talk to us about what's happening around data protection, data management at AWS Cloud. Well, uh, when we talk to our customers, uh, one of the very first workloads, uh, they're in fact moving into the cloud, is backup of data. And with this cloud-first initiative in mind, 
they are embracing cloud-based solutions around data protection and data management. As you might be aware, the amount of data that customers are needing to protect is growing twofold every two years. And challenges around ransomware means that uh, traditional industries and heavily regulated industries like financial services, uh, healthcare, are moving data into the cloud. Uh, because of our collaboration for over five years, Commvault has a wide array of solutions to address these customer needs available on AWS globally. Yes, and just to add to that, with AWS over the last two years, we've seen 100% growth year over year, and we continue to expect additional growth Absolutely. with AWS and our customer base. And typically what we see is customers will start with backup and recovery and sending backup data into the cloud, and then once they get that data into the cloud, they start to use it. Let's test a disaster recovery incident and see if it works. Wow, it worked, great. Once it works, then they start moving workloads into the cloud and protecting the data across regions and all over the world. And so that's one of the great benefits that we have with Amazon and Commvault together. Congrats on the progress that you've been making. Sounds like you've got some good proof points. As this is maturing, what feedback are you getting from customers? What are they asking you to do uh, to expand this partnership even further? Thank you for that question. As Gina knows, uh, customers are always looking for a wide integration of Commvault solutions across our services. They want to use the rich features that Commvault has on premises in a hybrid architecture model and also for workloads that are running completely on AWS. And you know, once this data moves into the cloud, they want to do more with this data. Uh, this is actually one of the reasons why we are working together to have Commvault integrate across our machine learning services like Transcribe, Translate, which means that customers can extract more value from this data, improve their time to market, and you know, potentially even create net new solutions using this data. So from a Commvault perspective, we see just like Sabina said, more and more customers going through digital transformations. And when they go through those digital transformations, they've been sold on things like we want to lower costs and we want to have more agility with our business. And one of our big customers that's here today, Dow Jones, talks about that story where they've gotten rid of a lot of their data centers, moved a lot of their infrastructure into the cloud, and so they've been able to become more agile as a business because of moving to the cloud with Commvault and AWS. So we hope that you'll take some time and, and hear some of the customer stories out there while you're here. We have listened to customers, and as customers are making that digital business transformation, what have you been hearing, or how, what are some of the trends you're seeing and what are uh, customers thinking about and specifically in this collaboration, what are you guys thinking about when it comes to digital transformation and the impact on data protection? Let me start with that. So again, lowering cost, scalability, global infrastructure, those are the big things for the digital transformation that we see customers wanting to embrace. And with Commvault, one of the big differentiators, I think, for the enterprise customers out there who are global is they typically do have both an on-prem environment as well as an in-cloud environment. And even if they have an all-in strategy, there is time between that moving all into the cloud where they need to be able to cover both the on-prem and in the cloud workloads. And so Commvault really brings that together. We also work together with our hyperscale appliance for those customers who want to have on-prem and in the cloud. So overall, it's simplicity, the ability to manage the data wherever it needs to be. That's where Commvault and AWS really do well and shine. All right, so for people that are at this show, what, what's, what flavor are they getting of AWS or their sessions or their labs? Uh, you know, what, 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 what's the kind of cloud experience of this show? Well, uh, we have a number of sessions that we are jointly presenting together at, uh, focused around AIML, uh, future SaaS solutions, 
uh, and also healthcare data protection solutions. And in fact, at the show, we are launching over 2,100 EC2 instances every day at the show through the hundreds of labs that Commvault has running. Uh, for customers and partners, you can come and try out the Commvault solutions on AWS for free at these labs. Uh, and for those of you listening out there, uh, we are giving away two Alexas at each of our sessions. Wow, so I think, Stu, we're about eight weeks out, right, from the big show? Uh, my team's deep in planning already. I mean, <laughs> this is a great show, but uh, Amazon is one of the biggest shows that we do every year. Uh, what, what should we expect to see this year? Well, as you said, our uh, team is preparing very hard uh, to make sure that we are providing value to the customers and partners attending reInvent, and there will be a number of announcements. Um, we are looking forward to having our advanced technology partner and our storage competency partner, Commvault, at reInvent again this year. And we're excited to be there, so I hope that everybody who's here with us today will join us at reInvent in November and it's sure to be a great show. All right, yeah, be sure to join uh, you know, the, the Cube and over 50,000 of your closest friends in the <laughs> cloud uh, in Las Vegas the week right after Thanksgiving. If you haven't already, register quickly because it will sell out. Right. Get your hotel because they will sell out. Uh, what I'm saying is it's a big show, so we're excited to be there. Uh, for Keith Townsend, I'm Stu Miniman. We'll be back here with more coverage from Commvault Go in Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks for watching theCUBE.